Well, Richard C. Wilson here coming to you from Waikiki in Hawaii, and I wanted to talk to you real quick about virtual family offices, three portfolio components, now you can break that down into three more components after that. Um, the three components would really be your public market diversified portfolio, traditional wealth management work, and in a virtual family office, importantly, you might hire an outsourced CIO who's going to do a lot of that work for you, or you might hire a private bank or a multifamily office. The second portfolio component, uh, if the first one is defensive diversified, the second one is really cash flowing real estate. Usually most of it is cash flowing already, maybe 20% or less is development or something a little bit more risky. Uh, but most families just like things that are steady and help them sleep at night type assets. In this area of your portfolio, there's really three options. You could go direct to an asset and buy it, manage the property yourself or hire a property manager. That's as direct as it gets. You could go through an independent sponsor and have them show you things deal by deal and decide which of their two to six deals a year you want to invest in that you really like and saw the due diligence on. Or you can invest in a fund that's going to give you diversified access to five or ten properties or assets or more in a single allocation. Uh, that is the real estate portfolio component. The third component is private equity and operating businesses. This is usually where you have the most control and this is the component that's going to be the area where you created your wealth. If you made your wealth in manufacturing, it's investing in other manufacturing companies or building your own $100 million platform for the second time in the manufacturing niche. Just to review this, the three ideas are defensive wealth management, real estate that's cash flowing, and then operating businesses. And the three subcomponents could be going direct to an asset, using an independent sponsor, or using fund managers. So I just wanted to share that real quick for anyone that's putting together a virtual family office. This could be appropriate potentially from anyone from a $10 million net worth up to a $200 million net worth or $250 million net worth. Uh, in other videos, we talk about single family offices versus virtual family offices versus multifamily offices. If you wanna learn more about all of this, please go to familyoffices.com. If you want help putting together your virtual family office, please go to centamillionaires.com. That's Cinta with an I, centamillionaires.com. Thank you.